Developing right now, South Florida Cuban Americans once again showing their support for Cubans on the island in their fight for freedom. And Chopper 4 is live over the scene where the streets are closed to traffic and the crowds keep growing. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. We have a team of reporters fanned out to show you how South Florida is coming out once again today to support the people in Cuba. But we begin at the main event. Well, that will be the rally outside the Versailles restaurant in Little Havana. CBS 4's Austin Carter is there. And Austin, what's going on right now? Hey guys, what well, we have heard so many times since this past weekend, if Cuba is in the streets, so is Miami. That's definitely the case here in Little Havana. Take a look here. We are along Calle Ocho, Southwest 8th Street. We're right at 36th Avenue where you can just see what appears like hundreds of people who have showed up here for this rally. Further on down the road, uh, you can see there is a stage set up there. We can see Miami uh, Mayor Francis Suarez is there along with other elected officials uh, speaking on behalf and with those in Cuba. You can just see dozens of Cuban and American flags flying here in the sky and we are expecting about five to ten thousand people possibly showing up here this evening now let's get you another look from chopper chopper four rather flying high above here in little Havana now this rally was planned uh, just after demonstrators blocked parts of the Palmetto Expressway in support of uh, Cubans who began protesting the island's poor economic conditions last weekend now the Cuban protesters took to the streets to lash out at the communist government protesting things that, you know, we just take for granted, things like food shortages, high prices, uh, and this all happening amid the coronavirus pandemic. Now, I was able to speak with Miami Police Chief Art Acevedo shortly ago. He tells me this is personal. I'm a, I'm a Cuban-born American that came in 1968. They're, they're screaming for liberty, for freedom, and this country is the greatest country. I don't care what anybody says. It's the greatest country on earth, and it's time for Cuba, man. It is time for the people of the world to come together. They're murdering people on the streets of Cuba, in their homes, in the hundreds probably, and it's time for them to speak out. And South Florida here has the largest population of Cuban Americans um, in the U.S. here. And I was able to speak with uh, many people who have shown up here this afternoon. I was able to speak with one man who has family in Cuba. He's been trying to get in touch with them. He has friends there. He has family there. He says he tries to get them if they have Internet, if they have a charge. He says folks needed to come out here today from across South Florida to show their support that this nation, our nation, stands with Cuba. Take a listen. I'm wearing my Cuban flag around me, and, and, and this is my country. But this country opened the doors to me and said, you're welcome here. And I want that same freedom back in Cuba. And the fact that we can't do that here, bring my family here, my kids were here Sunday as well, uh, it's just, it goes a long way for this country to give us that support. Okay, and let's get you another look at Chopper 4 again flying above the scene. And you can really see from these images, not only from the ground, but up in the sky, just how many people have shown up here. I'm uh, taking up uh, what looks like possibly just a block there along Southwest 8th Street here, Calle Ocho. And we're starting to see more and more people, if you can see from Chopper, that are showing up here again. We're expecting thousands out here. And you can see the entire road is blocked out here. We understand from police they're taking this uh, very seriously. They want to be here and stand in solidarity with uh, those in South Florida here showing up for this rally and standing with Cuba, but they want to make sure that everyone is doing it safely. You can see that there are blocks here along Southwest, Southwest 8th Street blocked off here. We can see a lot of police officers out here as well. They just want to make sure that everyone is out here doing this safely. We're going to stay out here as well uh, and watch this unfold as we expect more of those people attending this rally possibly show up here again, maybe even 10,000 people. That would be a number of people unheard of from any other rally since this all start to unfold over the weekend. We are live in Little Havana. I'm Austin Carter, CBS 4 News. Back to you. Austin, before you go, really quickly, uh, with all those streets blocked off, what's it like getting around in that area? Well, it's definitely something to watch for. Luckily, though, we were actually trying to get with a uh, couple people of our colleagues to try to figure out where to park, things like that. Luckily, traffic not being impacted too bad. Now, these road closures started right around 2.30 in the afternoon, so police tried to give everyone well enough warning that this was going to happen. And this is only a few few blocks here of a Coyote that is being blocked off here for this rally, but it seems like a lot of people were able to get the heads up. But that's definitely a warning, though, if you are traveling anywhere in this area, maybe around Little 
Havana, the Douglas Road area, uh, to be aware there may be some uh, traffic buildup as well as a result of this rally. No word yet on when any of this is expected to wrap up. It's really just getting underway now. All right, Austin Carter, thanks so much for that live report.